There we go. <sighs> Ships were what's up, what's up? How you doing? How's everybody doing? Alright, I think I think everything is pretty good. Pretty good. Picked probably. Hey yo, what's up? Hello everybody. Everybody get a fuck, I didn't get no water. Any outfit ideas for me? Uh not that I can think of right now. Alright, so what I'm doing is my true survivor mode that I haven't done in absolutely forever. Reconnect? What are you talking about, reconnect? What are you talking about, reconnect? What are you talking about, reconnect? Hmm. Turning everything off. Everything. Gas filter. Oh. Oh, I didn't even realize about that. Yeah. True survival mode. I missed it. Yeah, I'm trying to bring it back. It's been a while since I've done true survival mode. Uh, But it will be slightly custom. Like, it would be elite settings, and you can carry two primaries. Uh, bandage quality would be uh, several. Syringes don't heal injuries. And depending on, like, the armor you're wearing, like, if you're wearing, like, big bulky armor, uh, your risk of injury will go from always to, like, often or rare, depending on the type of armor you're wearing. Um, extreme, no, yeah, 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 okay, I think everything's pretty decent, yeah, <sighs> the bulldozer, good evening, what's up, good evening, good night, good morning, good day, depending on your time zone, Oh man. How is everybody doing? How is everybody doing? So I'm gonna like skip the, the cutscenes because they're not really important. <clears throat> uh, an idea for this character. So if you don't know the True Survivor series, I used to do it back in the day. You create a character. But once your character dies, you have to delete that character and start over. Pretty much how it goes. Hmm. Huh. Trying to think of like how I want this character to be. I want him to seem like he's, you know, like battle worn. Skipping the cutscenes, they're not important. <laughs> not important. Not doing any missions. Good evening. Wow, another stream today. You're the goat. <laughs> uh, yeah, I'm doing another stream. Uh, it's probably not gonna last too long. Two hours. Three hours tops. Uh, not too long. It's currently 8.05 p.m. for me. 
So I'm probably going to end the stream around 10, 11 the latest. Kel Cole style, hello. What's up? How you doing? Welcome everybody in the stream. Burn TV, hey, hello. What's up? All right. So pretty much everything's off. I follow you. That's what's up. Do you live stream every day? Uh, no, not every day, but recently. Oh, why is the hints on? Why is the hints on? The hints ain't supposed to be on. Uh, I don't live stream every day, but recently I've been streaming a lot more than I normally do. So I guess it all depends. Sometimes I re, sometimes I stream every day. Sometimes I don't. I hate how the bullets hit huh. the bushes. Strange. I'm going to see what's up. Cool. Let's do it. Uh, <laughs> I got nothing so far. What the? Uh, what gun you got? What gun you got? Where's your gun at? What gun is this? AK? I'll take You just got four effing YouTube ads in a row? What the hell? What the hell? That's crazy. I don't really have any control of the ads during a live stream. Four in a row? Holy shit. Who are these guys? I don't know I don't know how YouTube does ads during live streams. Not exactly. Like the the content creator like myself, I could there's a button I can hit to insert a ad. But it has like a timer on it, so like I can't, I couldn't insert like four ads in a row. It has like a, a timer on it. But something happened similar to, similar to, something happened similar to that to me earlier. I was watching Massive G live stream a little bit of Hitman 3. And I didn't get hit with four ads, but I did get hit with like three ads. Like it showed like two ads. And then, as soon as I went back to the stream, it showed me, it showed another ad. Four in a row. That's fucking crazy. Holy shit! All right, so my soldiers. So the thing about uh, like the true survival mode, this first mission, you you do have to do it. No way to go. Because if you don't do this first mission and get to Erewhon, then like once you leave this character, like you sign out of this character, you log out and you log back in, it's gonna spawn you back at that uh, crashed, that crashed landing zone, that crashed chopper. So this first mission, you do kind of have to do it. Which I mean, it's fine because I mean you can always consider Erewhon to be like your HQ, your base. Bang Mo, how are you? I'm good. Man becomes great. Okay. All right, I think there's a crate back here. I 
think that was probably uh, parts or maybe skill credits. Oh yeah, I need a. I forgot. Like, as soon as you land, you need to customize your character's look. Cause I don't want to be looking like this right off the bat. Uh, oh, you actually start with like Vosley's pants and stuff. You used to have to uh, buy those from Maria's shop. That's interesting. Huh. Face mask. Don't really want a face mask, but I could wear one, I suppose. Where's, uh, Woodland? Is that me? I don't know. I just put multi cam. Huh. Eye patch. There we go. That's what I really wanted for this character is the eye patch. Tattoo. Alright. So this is the this character's like starting look. <laughs> when you start a new character, do you keep all your cosmetics from Maria's shop? No. Um, from my understanding, whenever you start a new character, you start with whatever the game gives you. Like, everything you buy, everything unlock, you have to re-unlock. I regret not getting this game when it first came out. It's definitely not exactly the same game now like it was when it first came out. It's really improved. But, um... There, there's a lot of stuff that's changed, too. Like, even the beginning of the game, there's still a few... There's still a few things that's different than what they used to be. This is some scary shit, man. I've never seen wrecks like this. No one's walking away. Just keep a lookout. We gotta make sure they're all dead. Why does hell over here? Hmm? Hold up. Yeah. So we deal over here. What's that noise? Way out. Jeez! Use and silencer? Do what? But yeah, like I said, this first mission you have to do it. But once this mission, once I get to uh, Erwan, I complete this mission, then I'm pretty much like on my own. Out of the free roam. Gathering everything. Got to be alive. But yeah, I'm skipping the cutscenes. Storm clap at one one. This is Weaver. Come in. Oh. Yeah, like those people in the cutscenes. Uh, at least right there. They used to not wear the gear that they're wearing now. Walker. What are you doing? When the game first came out, they used to wear something else. Oh yeah, I should actually turn the compass on. Realistically, you would have a compass. I think that's like the only thing I want on the compass. 
uh, yeah. I just smoked the ghost first kill of the day. These guys in shit. I don't know what everyone's worried about. You just better hope to God we kill them all. Last thing you want on this island is a pissed off. Huh? people over there I can barely hear them and I think I see one of them right there four dudes one two three four All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. <clears throat> but yeah, um, the only time I can buy gadgets and clothing and stuff is when I'm actually physically um, in Air One talking to uh, Maria. Mayday, mayday. Bye, bye. Ooh, uh, okay. Understood. Go but like at the craft everything else. Told you what they were up to out here, you wouldn't believe me. We got some shots in the air that are safe. What guns you guys get? Uh four sixteen? What's that an M4? Four sixteen, ooh, nice. Now in the uh free roam in the wild, the only the only attachments I can change on my weapons is uh the mag. I can change the different size mag. Um the suppressor, uh the rail, and the side attachment. Well, I could change the underbarrel, but I mean, like, I can't change the stock, the trigger, or the, uh, barrel <laughs> in free roam. So it's like, I'm trying to play, like, oh shit, I didn't mean to do that. It's fixing to say, you can't clean or renew the paint on your weapon either, unless you're at, like, a bivouac. So a lot of your stuff you can't really do unless you're, or at a bivouac. I mean, like, 
the crazy thing is like you're really trying to restrict yourself to make it feel like a survival game that's the whole point of it just realistically you would be able to remove your sight attachment and your suppressor and the size of your mag but I don't think I would be <laughs> switching my weapons and barrel in a combat scenario. But yeah, playing it this way, it's, it's really... I found it really fun. Really fun. Trying to play super, super immersed, super survival I should add Daryl's crossbow maybe not Daryl's crossbow specifically but maybe a crossbow or a, a bow and arrow maybe I mean, I think it'd be interesting. <clears throat> I love this series, but I would get annoyed playing the first mission all the time. <laughs> yeah. Jeez. Wipe them out like it was it wasn't anything. That's what happens when you're a pro, bro. But yeah, right it it is annoying to have to do the first mission I was invited. so many times. Just to just to get to this point, it's like I was saying earlier. I mean, uh, you have to do the first mission. And it's crazy. You have to come here and complete the entire first mission. Because if you don't come here and what you you go... Oh, crap. I'm going to leave the gas on, actually. I think that, I think leaving the gas on would be a really interesting uh, add-on to the survival. Make it a little bit more survival. So I'm going to leave the gas on. But, um... Yeah, you have to come here and do this first mission. Because if you don't come here... And you go all the way to the other side of the island, you log out of this character, you log back in. It's going to spawn you back at that uh, chopper that you crashed at. But I'm just going to consider this like my home, my HQ. Like, I'll come here if I need to. Skip, you boys skip right all of this. These cutscenes mean nothing to this character. <laughs> Bow and arrow would be cool to see. Yeah. Skip, 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 skip. No, the calm. Innocent Baraka. Hi, hi, Frank. What's up? How you doing? His jacket too. The only thing that Ghost Recon Breakpoint messed up at was the internet. Only thing. Maybe if Ubisoft would use their brain, they would have more hype behind the game. True. I think the, I don't know exactly why they did the online only type thing, but um, I think it's because of the faction missions and it being updated and stuff. Ah, uh, this damn thing. Alright, so I should probably eat. So how is it true survival? Because I'm forcing it to be survival I'm forcing it to be that way so like these these uh, benefits from this stuff from the preparations the benefits uh, I don't care about I'm not doing them to get the benefits I'm doing them because I feel like my character needs to eat so we ate something now I feel like he needs to hydrate 
So he's drinking some water. You can't, you can't like remove the benefits. That's like the downside. Like if I could still do this and not even get the benefits, I would still do it. Plus he just <laughs> survived a crash, a helicopter crash. So it feels like he needs to freaking loosen up a little bit. Loosen those joints up from surviving a chopper crash. You check my weapon. And then write down everything that just freaking happened to me. Uh, makes sense. About the survival mode. Yeah, I mean, it's like... It's kind of difficult because the game has bits and pieces of a survival mode. But it also doesn't. So you have to like immerse yourself into it. Like the whole benefit thing. Ignore the benefits. And just like if you think your character's hungry and needs to eat. You eat or you drink. You check your, your other stuff. Check your weapon. You write down what you just did. Um, I'm at Marie I'm at Erwan, so I don't have to craft anything right now. I can just buy the stuff from Maria. But like out in the open when I'm at a bivouac. I have to craft everything. Um, I don't know why the garage is on. Oh, it's because I'm at Erwan. That's why there's a garage there. I'm, not, I'm gonna ignore that though. Uh, I should probably just talk to Maria to change my weapon. I think I'm going to keep the, the AK. I might get rid of the AK. I don't know. Might get rid of the AK and keep the 416. Trying to trying to figure it out. Uh, I f it's seven fourteen. I'm gonna sleep for a bit. Sleep for a few hours. A zombie sequel? I don't think zombies should be in Ghost Recon. Ghost Recon's not about zombies. Anything different since that broadcast went out? But I mean, it might be interesting. Who knows? I don't know how they would do it though. Uh, so I need to uh, talk to Maria. Hey, Nomad. I got something you might find interesting. Leave me alone, Hulk. I'm busy saving the world. Actually, let's get you suited up. I'm not. I'm busy trying to survive. What I need is my laser sight. Grip. Sight. You got one of those, uh, you got one of those, uh, mm, mm, and extended, you got a, one of those, uh, those, one of those, one of those things, uh, you know what I'm talking about, mm, you got one, extended mag. I feel like that's pretty much it, I uh, don't care for this, I can get the, the hair though. Beards, whatever. Face paint. The masks. But all of my clothing items in my backpack. <laughs> yeah, that was a lot. I should have bought that. That was so. That was so expensive. Ooh, I do need a helmet. So yeah, like the the more armor you wear, the less risk of injury you you have. So like you would have to go in there and change it. I think that's all I truly need right now. Yeah, I don't really need anything else. So right now, like the only armor I have is my vest. So technically, I you know I could still get shot in the head. I could still get shot in the arm. So the risk of injury would still be always. But if I had um. And like I said, you have to force yourself to immerse yourself into this. But if I was wearing uh, like this big thing, you know, uh, it protects my my chest 
and my arms you know you could change your risk of injury because it's more protective or if I was wearing this as well but I think I'm gonna leave that and put on a helmet instead yeah I think I'm gonna put on a helmet Do I have any other helmets or should I just wear this one helmet? And I have those. I guess I'll put on this helmet. Yeah, okay. Um. don't have any oh I do have NVGs but I don't have the perk I don't have the night vision perk the also the skills like you can select one skill like you can select one uh class to play as but you can't switch it so like you you have to really be thinking about what what class you want your character to be like if I unlocked the sharpshooter and I unlocked the panther, I could only play as one. Like if I pick panther, I can't switch it at all with this character. But I don't know what I want this character to like specialize in. I think I'm going to leave my skills kind of alone for the time being. Oh, wait, I do have to unlock them. So yeah, I have to unlock a, a class. Maybe echelon? Maybe Islam would be higher, would be better. Pathfinder might be better. Rations are more effective, but I mean, I think I'm gonna go with Pathfinder. I think this character is going to specialize in the Pathfinder class. Now I can get night vision. Fantastic. And a parachute. Cool, 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 cool. Now since I'm wearing this chest piece and a helmet, I can go in here. Shit. I can go in here and turn the risk of always up to often. Because I'm wearing a vest and a helmet. But if I was wearing a helmet and the big bulky vest like this, that protects more of my body. So I'm pretty protected. I could turn the um that's not the right one I could turn it from often to rare and pretty much it would be on rare unless you're wearing like um, a big bulky vest maybe some pants that's more protective like uh, maybe you know the combat pants or the uh, the Sentinel Mark II pants because these are really protective these are big and bulky or maybe wolf pants because I mean wolf pants technically they look like they would be protective yeah anyways and then like maybe if I wore a helmet that really covered a lot of my head like the Sentinel helmet uh, maybe maybe like this too maybe or even like a uh, a wolf helmet like this if it would show it like this something that really protects you you might be able to turn the uh, the risk of injury down to none but I feel like you would always have the chance of being injured so I feel like a rare would be like the lowest you would go but since I'm wearing a vest and helmet I'm gonna turn it to uh, often because I'm actually kind of protected. So there's that. I also need to put some NVGs on. So yeah. How you feeling about all this? Cringe guy YT, hello. Yo, what's up, Frank? What's up? How you doing? Um What do you I was doing a one life challenge a few months back. <laughs> it's it's fun if you you like I said you just have to really immerse yourself into it, you know? 
Um, like I said, I created the True Survival Mode series long time ago, like months ago, and I did a couple of videos of it, and it was fun, and a lot of people enjoyed it. But um, I just haven't, I haven't went back to it. I've just been busy doing other stuff. But I really want to start playing like that again, or at least you know start a new series. And now I can like actually live stream it. So if anybody wants to, ah, oh, this damn stuff. So if anybody wants to watch, uh, experience it with me, whatever the case is, or wants to watch and they want to do it themselves, but you know, they're watching me live so they can ask me questions, you know, that's fine too. Um, what do you think is the best gun? It's so difficult for me to choose K1A, A4AC or Honey Badger, 4AC. As of right now. With the new guns, I personally prefer the 4AC, and that's probably my new favorite weapon. Um, so, I mean, the choppers are here, so I'm going to go ahead and take one and try to keep it. Hopefully, I don't lose the damn thing. But now I need to go and try to, like, get some, get some loot. I think I'm going to go here, because it's kind of close. You should do hardcore. What are you talking about? I'm playing on the hardest difficulty. I'm playing on extreme, bro. I'm I'm past hardcore. I think I'm gonna come over to this uh this camp. This is definitely not where I was originally going, but that's okay. I'm gonna leave this chopper here. So like if I'm gonna like open up my attack map, like I won't just be running and then do it. I have to actually like kind of get in like a a good a good spot and then take a knee and then open up the map. I kind of wish the game would continue to play in solo like it does if you're playing co-op, but it doesn't. I need to head northeast. That way it feels like you're actually sitting there opening up a map. Let's see if I can get some uh, loot from these guys. Maybe some ammo. Maybe some grenades. That's good. Alright. Also, like my clothing items, you can't just change your clothes like out of the out in free roam. Like if I'm like running through here, I wouldn't need to take a knee, and then I could like change certain items. Like I could take my helmet off and put it in my backpack and maybe switch it to a, a hat or something like that. Or maybe take my gloves off, put a different uh, pair of gloves on. But like my uh, my shirt, I wouldn't change this shirt to another shirt, but I could put a jacket or a hoodie on. Um, because technically you could do that. Um, I wouldn't be able to change my backpack. Uh... Wouldn't change my pants, wouldn't change my boots or anything. Just like items that you feel like realistically you could change out in the middle of the woods. But if I'm at a bivouac, then I can change anything. Or if I'm at Air One, then I can change anything. For real though, that's it? That is where Skell lives. You gotta be kidding, bro. I know, I know. It's like nobody ever told this guy how to be rich. <laughs> Good. 
So yeah, um, I don't have any, I don't have any of the uh, rules in the description for true survivor mode yet, but I will definitely be uh, adding the rules in the description. Maybe the next, there you are. I was wondering where the hell that chopper was. But the next true survivor mode, I would probably add the, uh, the rules in the description so I don't have to keep explaining myself. But you gotta remember, if you take your helmet off to put a hat on, then you, then your uh, settings for the risk of injury, you would have to turn that back up. Because you just removed a piece of your armor. Uh, hang on. If you put full armor on, you should put your stamina on normal or low. My stamina is on extreme. The, my extreme my stamina is the only thing I actually never messed with but I do feel like with the armor I'm currently wearing it should be like regular but if I'm like fully freaking like heavy gear I guess it would be more extreme but I feel like the gear I'm currently wearing would be more like regular or if I have like a big a big old backpack then maybe it would be uh, cut down I don't know, my backpack's not that big, so I guess my stamina would be a little bit more of reduced right now. I kind of wish, like, these settings would, like, it would be automatic. Like, I didn't have to go through and change my settings every time I did something, but that's the way it is. That's what I, I'm saying. You have to, like, immerse yourself in it. But it's really fun. If you actually set your mind to it, it's a really fun way to play the game. back up I actually didn't change my uh you know reach into my backpack put a sight on this damn gun mm. You changed your risk of injury, not your stamina, did I? Risk of... No, I changed my stamina. What are you talking about? Uh... What is the best gun in Ghost Recon Breakpoint? It depends on what you're doing. Like, if you're sniping from like 400, 500 meters, you're not going to be using a freaking Honey Badger or SMG. Uh, if you're uh, up close and personal, you might want a, a shotgun. It really depends on what you're doing. There's no one correct answer. But everybody, everybody has like their favorite weapon, like their go-to weapon. But like the best and the best gun in the game, there is that that doesn't exist. There is no the best gun in the game. But right now, I would say my my personal favorite gun is probably the uh, new 4AC. Uh, you can get it in the new um, Amber Sky live event that just came out. All right. I'm trying to rotate around here. I'm here for some like uh, some some loot. Another sniper out there. Gotta be careful. A little bit of recon here.
So there's two people here. Here, this over here. Might need to go get that. You got a crate on top of this roof. Here we got another tactical cache to myself, sounds like. Yeah, it's over there. Oh, another one too. That's good. Oh, did I miss one? I must have missed that. But yeah, I need to go get that one over there. Uh, let me get my gadgets right. I don't need the gas mask right now. No need for the gas mask, so I guess I can switch that. I don't have any other gadgets on me. Fantastic. Alright. I'm gonna go get that tactical cash. If I can find it. There you are. Holy crap, deer. Came out of nowhere. Come here. There you go. There you go. I'm a Ross drone in position. Ready to interface. So I think I'm going to try to take these two guys out. Maybe push in. Don't have a breaching torch. I don't think I have a breaching torch, so I can't push in this. Is PvP dead or is there people playing that? I don't know. I don't care about PvP. I don't think many people even play that. I do need to get to the roof to get that uh, one crate. I need to put a laser sight on this. I'm getting so lucky with my shots right now. But in reality, I have no idea what I'm aiming at. <laughs> now let me see here. Get this. Wait, what kind of sniper is this? Is this a DMR? Yeah, okay. What did this guy have? Uh, looks like a uh, G28, maybe you... Nah, what is this? Oh, it's the Mark 14. Did not mean to reload that. That's pretty much all the people I can really shoot from up here. Maybe shoot this person. I 
think I saw someone walking through here. If I wait a second, I might see him walk by. Yep. Got him. I could probably shoot this guy. But I don't know if there's like someone over here that might see him. Uh, go down. Okay. Alright. Do 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 do. Do 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 do. What do you think of Amber Sky? I thought it was pretty good. Uh, anything wrong with PvP or is just you don't play PvP? I used to play PvP, but it's so broken and stupid in this game, it, it's just not worth playing. Um, every time I jumped on it recently, there's someone always doing some kind of, some kind of glitch. I haven't jumped on PvP in like a good month or two, but every time I jumped on it, someone was doing some type of glitch. And I just don't think it's worth even giving it my time. Uh, yeah, my sight is clear. Yeah, I got nothing left. Hey, you still owe me from the other night. Nice for broker game. I've had stupid jobs before, but this shit. All right. Did you see that shit? The crashes? I saw plumes of smoke. Two, maybe three. I haven't heard anything. It's all quiet in my uh, sector. Nothing here either. Oh. I don't like that. Radio up in the timeshare in the huh. tropics and invited Strange. all of us. I mean, I'm going to see what's up. Shit, but... Okay, I got you. Uh, it's all quiet over here. I need to remember that I'm not playing my main character, so I don't have all like my perks and everything like my main character does. this credits maybe or let me open it You need to put a laser sight on this. Ding my backpack real quick. Uh, laser sight. There we go. I'm getting really lucky with my shots. <laughs> uh, hopefully this laser sight will help. It'd be a bit more realistic too if like the bullet lore would actually take a round from your uh, ammo count when it doesn't there's nothing I can do about that all right I keep looking but so far man I don't see a damn thing Ooh, ah, ah. <sighs> 
My mustache is making my nose itch. There's someone over here. Someone's over there. Alright, I think someone's in there. That's what it sounds like with that voice dialogue. I need to get inside this uh, building here so I can get some uh, get some gadgets, get some loot. That was the whole point of coming here. Get some loot. Uh, I got some some of that. Uh, some of that. What is that? Flashbangs, maybe? Intel grenades, nice. Actually, never really use intel grenades, but... In true survival mode, you can use them. I mean, anybody, you can use them whenever. I normally don't use them, but... In this mode, what I'm trying to say is I will be using them. Because if I don't use them, then what's the point of picking them up? Is that a 553? So this one guy down here heard the gunshot, but he doesn't know that it was a gunshot, so they're not alert. He's just trying to see what that noise is. I can't grasp. Uh, this place is clear. So I'm gonna use this time to kind of get some loot. Uh, got some clothing, cosmetic item there. Got a weapon blueprint up here. Any other kind of crates around here? Maybe some with like uh, weapon parts would be nice. Maybe go around and scavenge some uh, mags from these guys. Got one right there. I don't think there's anything like down here. I'm not seeing anything. Alright, so that, that, and that. That's all I'm seeing. Alright. Alright. Frank, why you don't do raids? Uh, they're pointless. Especially now, they're pretty pointless. I'm gonna go up there. Get uh that crate. Uh, I think I can just climb this. Yeah. Yep, 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 yep. All right. I don't know what kind of blueprint this is. I think I get everything. Did I already get this one? I think I did. Yeah. Okay. I'm reloading when I shouldn't be reloading. What is it? All right. Uh, that was the wrong button. Let me look at the map. I could go to that campsite, but I kind of want to maybe head over here, maybe see if I can get some more loot. Before I do head out, I'm going to kind of rearrange my uh, gadgets here. Um, 
Boom. Mm. Boom. Give me that. Uh, I don't really need the intel, to be honest. I'm gonna make that that. Wait, make this that. Make this binoculars. Make this that. Um, switch that to that. That to that. Switch that to that, and then switch this to that. Uh, that might be good. Um. I think that's pretty pretty much it. Uh XP Alright. Uh I've been interested in getting uh into this game. Do you have a beginner's guide up on your channel? Um I do not have a beginner's guide. But uh I don't know. I don't really know. I don't I don't have a guide. I do have a second channel. Um that does no commentary, but I just started a new playthrough on my second channel. If you want to watch that, maybe it would give you some tips. But no, I don't I don't have a guide. Only thing good in the raid is the ASR Goblin, in my opinion, best ASR in the game. Uh, yeah, but I mean, like, once you get the Goblin, what's the point of doing the raid? Because, I mean, like, all the rewards that you could get doing the raid, you can now get by uh, leveling up your, uh... They're actually wearing a mask. I don't think this is a gas zone. But all the rewards you get in the raid, you can get and ranking your classes up to level 20. So other than the goblin, I don't think there's really any reason to do the raid. Unless you just, you know, want to do it. I'm not saying don't do it. Just, I personally have no reason to do it. Uh, but the goblin being the best ASR in the game, I think, I think the 4AC replaced that. From my understanding, uh, a lot of people... A lot of people are saying that the new 4AC, some people was even saying that the uh, K1A, but I've seen a lot of people say that the 4AC um, is better than the Goblin. I'm gonna take y'all's loot. Four AC is really good. Yeah, like my main, my main character, my main profile that I play on the Four AC has become the uh, ASR that I um I use. But I also switch my, I switch my primaries a lot. Like a lot of people. Um, I don't know what kind of like mindset they have, but they find like the one good thing and they just stick to it for forever. And then they're like, oh, the game's boring now. My advice is just don't use the same thing over and over, you know. The 4AC, the Goblin, the M4A1, you know. Whatever gun is the best, use it. But also try other guns, you know, test things out. I love playing with different guns. The Goblin got the range. The 4AC has range. I was using the 4AC earlier and I was, I, I was popping some snipers heads from like 300 meters. Easily. But I also almost always use the uh, Ballistic Advantage perk.
Where the actual elf is my 4AC. It's not there anymore. What the hell? Are you running into a 4AC issue or something? Hey. Thoughts on Vector? I, uh, I like the Vector. I think the Vector's a, a really good gun. I I was playing with the Vector Shorty the other night. I was playing with the standard Vector and then I switched to the Vector Shorty. And I was actually really liking the Vector Shorty. Dre Dre, what's up? I just started playing Ghost Recon Breakpoint. That's what's up. Uh, I actually literally just created this character, but this is like my true survival character. So like I, I played through the first mission where I got to Air One. But I'm not doing any missions, and I'm just trying to survive. Like, I'm coming here to pretty much try to get some more loot. Get some skill credits there I can... Uh... Use to buy stuff from Maria. Got a sniper here. But so, I need to get this. There's that right there. Got a crate over here. Where is the locked room? Would that be Would that be this right here? Would this be the locked room? Will you have to take a, a enemy soldier to the door to get in? Or I don't know. I don't see a door to that building. There's this in the up here. Hmm. Unless I'm just missing it. Could be just missing it. Alright. I'm gonna rotate around. How much would you rate the game overall? Like 100% just overall game mechanics, everything. Nine out of ten. Ah. <sighs> uh. I'm gonna go interrogate Ubis Ubisoft. <laughs> like, did you have the 4C and then you just like logged into the game? It's gone. What's your class of choice? Depends on what you're going for. I mean, if you're new to the channel, then you probably don't know what I normally do. But I'm, I normally do stealth. If you're going for stealth, then I recommend Panther. Or Echelon. If you can't get Echelon, then I recommend Panther. I mean, it's really personal preference. I mean, I can do stealth with any class. So, for me... It's it's really whatever you want to do. Like, right now, I'm playing as Pathfinder. I'm not even... I'm not even playing as Panther. I think it I think it really comes down to like your personal preference and your uh play style and also your skill level. I think that crate was on the first floor. Or was it? No. No. Yeah, it must have been outside. 
I thought it was uh, actually in here, but I was mistaken. I was mistaken. I was mistaken. All right, I need to move back around and get that crate. Main weapon weapon slots one, but you have an AK as well. You must be new to the stream. I explained everything earlier. The uh, description in this live stream, I didn't customize anything except for like the first sentence. So like the settings don't even don't even focus on those settings for the stream. This is true survivor mode, not my just regular gameplay. But yeah, um, you must be new to the stream because I I, I explained everything about maybe 10, 20 minutes ago. There's like two people inside here. Yeah, there's two people inside here. What's that? A K twelve? So stupid. Imagine having enough money to buy an island. I sure don't envy him. He deserves what he gets. I've had stupid jobs before. Shit, but this shit. Sound right. I said that dude heard my footsteps. Good so far. Maybe kill that person. Might be a second next to him. Someone over there. Why are we wandering around out here? There's nothing around. Oh, my back is killing me. What are you doing here? Plus 22 people inside there. What it sounds like.
416. Yeah, these guys are dead. These people in here is clear. What is it? Right, so now I can just move around. Kill the rest of them. Yeah, someone's walking around this corner. Possibly two people. One. I am playing extreme though. I'm playing extreme and I'm playing a very custom elite. But it is it's still extreme difficulty no matter what. Hey. It will always stay on extreme. I never take it off extreme. It's the elite tactical settings that I customize for true survivor mode. Nothing to report here. We should let this dog lick my face in Kandahar. And one day I saw him running around with a human hand in his mouth. <clears throat> you hear that? That sound of nothing happening. What's that noise? Wait, how strange is that? Let's go look. Right, I'll come too. I got nothing. I haven't seen anything yet. place is clear I just need to get the loot what is this weapon no let's go credits play PV people play PvP more than PV nah you crazy if you think that you crazy PvP in this game is stupid What's up, dude? I'm new. What's up? How you doing? Hey, Frank. Kills a civvy by accident. I didn't even kill a civvy. I didn't kill a single civvy the entire time. I need to find the loot, though. One over here. One over there. <laughs> right here next to that dead guy. Uh, right over here. Yeah, right here. You should just go on a rampage? No. This is a uh, true survivor mode. Oh, 
Def not more players in PvP. No, there's definitely not more players in PvP. Uh, more weapon parts. <sighs> Rip my 4AC, one of them that I loved. I hope it comes back. Man, I don't know about that. I don't know what's... <laughs> Why your weapon disappear like that? That's kind of, kind of strange. You're the first person that I've heard to lose their um, weapon. Uh, five, five, three. I think I'm gonna stick with the four sixteen and the AK for now. Don't really have any other reason to uh, switch. What the hell? Shit! What are you doing here? Alright, I think, I think it's about time I go set up camp. Uh, there's a smoke over here. What's a HDG? Uh, HD HDG stands for handgun. Yeah, I'm trying to find info on the bug, but I can't find... Oh, my Jesus. Maybe you're the first one. Maybe you're the first one to run into the uh, run into that bug. You might be the only one. <laughs> that would suck. What's this truck here? I think I got some loot from that, but I don't I don't know. I don't know what I got. I could probably sneak into this base and steal that chopper though. Time for a Reddit post then. I don't know if there's gonna be any crates over here. Maybe, I, maybe there is. Yeah, there's a crate right there. So, oh, a tactical cache right here. Hmm. I might want to go get that tactical cache. I'm new to this game. What do you do in true survivor mode? Do you have a mission to complete? Uh, no. True survivor mode is a very, very, very immersed game mode that I created. So there's no missions to do. You just survive. But you play it as immersive and realistically as you can. Like no fast travel. No spawning vehicles at bivouacs. You don't do missions, you just pretty much roam and try to survive. Kill people, get loot, get gadgets. Only 
can only switch weapons uh, from picking up dead enemies' weapons, etc., etc., etc. Where's that tactical cash at? Oh. I hope I don't have to contact Ubisoft. Support services are so annoying. Why are we wandering around out here? There's nothing around. <coughs> what the hell was that? Huh. Strange. I'm going to see what's up. What spotted me? I'm confused on what spotted me. I'm not sure what spotted me. damn spotlight I didn't even know there was a spotlight there I can't like I couldn't see it I couldn't see the spotlight shining I'm only here for the chopper though I think there might be a sniper I think there might be a sniper on top of that tower up there. I don't know. I can't even see the top of the tower. Anybody gonna push? No? I was really expecting more people to, to push me, but no one's pushing. Yeah, there's definitely a sniper though. I can tell by that dialogue. Let me see. I don't think anybody's gonna push me. I'm just gonna get the loot. Whatever loot that's in here. I don't even know what that was. Maybe diversion lures? <laughs> Gotta watch out just in case the sniper might get a... See me? Uh, looks like he... Yeah, they don't care anymore. They gave up. Which is fine by me. There's a uh, camp over here. You can just go to that. Um... What are your thoughts on the Belief 410 shotgun revolver from the event? Have you used it yet? No, I haven't used it yet. 
my main profile, my main character has it. This is a, a new character I created for this uh, True Survivor mode. So I don't have it for this character. But uh, I haven't tried it yet. I haven't heard anything about it. I haven't heard anything good or bad about it. So I don't. I don't know. I mean, it sounds like it's a uh, a shotgun sidearm. So it doesn't sound like it's really anything special. Apparently, it has really low range though. So I don't know if that's good or bad. But uh. Yeah. All right. I need to uh, eat. Yeah, I, I use it as the last resort because it feels like two weeks before it's fixed. I'm experiencing a glitch that every time I load, I'm under fire. Like, actually being shot at, or you're, like, spawned under, like, actual, like, fire fire. I need to drink something. Low range, good for you for a CQC. Yeah, that's what it seems like, which, I mean, technically, that's what shotguns are pretty much made for. They're made for close range. I sure use them like uh buckshot because low range is good for you EQC. Yeah, I don't I don't have it. I need to make some rations for on the go. On the go food. Alright, there's not really anything else I can do, but I can take a nap. I can go to sleep. Almighty came by to drop a like. Keep up the good work, bro. Representing T High. <laughs> Alright, man, I appreciate it. Uh, two choppers circle me firing in a group of wolves randomly surround me. What? That sounds crazy. I've never experienced anything like that, so I'm not too sure. Gonna have to go through the vines. UB is gonna make you wait for a year. All right. I keep hitting my freaking microphone. Freaking nerds. Kinda wanting a uh, convoy to come by. Oh shit! Thank you for the truck. All right, let me go a different way. You need to look at the map to be honest. Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, this will take me to the gas. I could probably go here, right here. Just follow the train tracks to be honest. 
Yeah, so I mentioned the belief, uh, belief 410 because you can have a sniper, SMG, or an ASR mix with a revolver. Just an idea if you want to try it in the future. I just need to know, is it good? Like, I know it has low range and everything, but like, is it like worth using? Go to this place over here. Maybe stash the vehicle. Maybe keep it here. Enemies can't find it. Have you ever said? <laughs> Have you ever said I'm gonna rock that base like a hurricane, going loud with a MG and blasting America F yeah while you slaughter everyone in the base? Is that like a joking? Are you like, is that a joke? Or are you like serious about that question? Have I ever done that? No. So this place does have a sniper. Would you do it? <laughs> I don't know. Maybe. Oh, I can't walk under that? That's crazy. And yes, it was a joke. <laughs> kind of figured it was. I've never been asked something Check like that before. Yeah, looking around. Yeah, you got nothing so far. Keep looking, but so far, man, I don't see a damn thing. What the hell? What the hell? What are you doing down there, my guy? <laughs> Trying to keep my eyes open for a sniper. I think this place has a sniper. What? With the barricades on the roofs like that, it makes me think that he's on one of these roofs. I'm going to keep my eyes and ears open. Is th are there any improvements you'd like to see in the future? Yes, there's a lot of improvements I would like to see in the future. But at the same time, I feel like Ubisoft has done a really good job at improving the game. So, um, I guess to be more clear on my answer, can you be more specific like what I would like to see an improvement on like cosmetic wise game mechanic wise yeah weapon gunsmith no, wise nothing ever happens here sorry i'm just frustrated i haven't talked to my wife in too long There's a couple of people here no one's out here shit who would be that dumb anyway the sniper said he was stationed in a relay when everything went dark this is scary shit Something. Yep. Where the hell did that come from? Yeah. Good Something's idea. up. I know it. Nothing happening here.
I guess definitely. There's definitely two guys. It sounds like they're coming over here. Are they guys right there? We've been out here forever. We're not gonna find shit. So we get paid the same either way. Gotta get that knife animation though. Alright. Possible sniper up there. Yep, I just heard him. I didn't see him, but I heard him. Are they running through the freaking woods? What a bunch of madmen. I'm not seeing the sniper. He's definitely west. He's definitely west. I can tell by his uh, dialogue. I think he's up there. I just don't. He's not showing his face though. Hmm. Okay. Yo, what's up? What's up? How you doing? Everybody in the stream, how y'all doing? Ready to interface. Alright, so I can go just murder these people now. I should. Yeah. Well, I was thinking in terms of mechanics, personally, I'd love to be able to hide bodies in containers as an example that would be interesting but I think that's more of like a hitman and a Metal Gear thing I don't think that's I mean it would be interesting definitely I just don't think that's a Ghost Recon mechanic you know like hitman does it Metal Gear did it Ghost Recon has never done that, so I think if they added that, maybe people would think they're like ripping off other games. But maybe hide enemies in bushes or something like that. I think that'd be like it'd be the same thing, but instead of like containers, it'd be bushes. I don't know. But I mean, it's still definitely an interesting th thing and be good. 
I just don't know if it would be good for the Ghost Recon brand, though. I guess I guess it all would depend on like how they how they did it, how they put it in the game. I don't think there's anybody else up here. Yeah, I think everybody's like down. Yeah, everybody's down. Oh damn, that was a... <sighs> Bigger drop than I thought. I think it's just one person left. Might be coming out of this door. I think dragon bodies would be the best option. Oh yeah, oh yeah. I mean, I think it's a really good thing that they added the ability to actually pick up and move bodies in this game compared to Wildlands where they just disappeared. But whenever you pick up a body, sometimes it can be really slow to pick up a body. Sometimes the animation kind of happens quickly, but most of the time, it, it goes pretty pretty slow. And sometimes, like, it would go fast, but then you're still stuck in the animation because your character's standing there and kind of, like, shrugs your shoulders or whatever, and you still can't move. So maybe if they added the ability to drag bodies, which would be a quicker way to move bodies, like, instead of picking them up, you kind of grab them by the legs or the arms and you, like, just drag them. Like they could they could keep the picking up the body and then they just add like another button to drag the body. Like if you hold the button then you pick the body up, but if you like double tap the button, then he, he just grabs like a, a an arm or a leg to drag. If anything, I wish you could move dead heavy bodies. Like the heavies, I wish you could move those bodies. Uh, I missed this one. I didn't know this was here. Like right there. Yep. Right, so I'm gonna run back, get this, try to get them all like. In a line. We're not in line, just in order. <clears throat> Alright, uh, yep, there we go.
Imagine the Predator event. They won't add the Predator in this game. They removed. They completely took the Predator out of Wildlands. They won't add the Predator in this game. I think they wanted you to drag them into back alleys and take them out that way, but I agree dragging them would be faster, no doubt. Yeah. I mean, typically what I do with heavies is I just uh, lower them to like a really secluded area and, and then kill them. Because, I mean, you can't move their bodies, so you got to get them to go to a good place to die before you can kill them. I'm missing some... Uh, some crates. I got distracted reading there. I think one was this way. Frank, what guns you use? Right now I have the 416 level 1 and AK 47 level 1. This is a new character. This is not my main character. This is a new character for the uh, true true survival series. Yeah, it's like right here. And there we go. Yeah, it won't let me change my guns. I don't know why. What? 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 That's crazy. Sounds like a lot of people are running into like weird bugs. I'm not having any of those bugs. I don't know why everybody else is having those bugs. I'm honestly tired of all the crossovers. If you think about all the updates that we received, we've barely got any Ghost Recon content. That is true. We had Splinter Cell crossover, which was fun. But at the same time, some of those missions, they wasn't very Splinter Cell. Because some of them, like, they forced you into an open combat situation, which Splinter Cell is supposed to be more about stealth. Which is supposed to be what the ghost unit is supposed to be about. And then the Terminators was pointless. The Terminator, that whole Terminator event was pointless. They should have never added that to the game, to be honest. That doesn't even fit the Ghost Recon. They were just trying to freaking... I don't know what they are trying to do. I did like the Splinter Cell one, though. It just kind of confuses me on why they did it. And then the Rainbow Six one, I mean, I like the gas, it kind of gives like a survival feel to it. But at the same time, what was the point? What was the point of bringing in the Rainbow team? I don't even think Rainbow Six Siege even has a storyline, does it? I don't know. Does Rainbow Six Siege have a, have a story? I need to go to a uh, a bivouac. The crazy thing is, these people like over there, but they they sound like they're like right on top of me. Terminator was supposed to promote that horrible Terminator movie. What, the most recent Terminator movie? I think the most recent one was alright, but definitely not what I was expecting. 
But if it was if it was to promote that movie, then it, it, the crossover had almost nothing to do with the movie. All clear here. Because nothing convoy. Report, same, same. Yeah, I got, I got nothing over here. Yeah, there's nothing going on by me. Mm -hmm. Shit. <laughs> Short history on each character background, but no overall storyline for uh, Rainbow Six. Uh, no I figured. One of the reasons why I didn't get Rainbow Six Siege, I take that back. I bought it, I played it for like two hours, never played it again. Gas zone ahead. That is enormous. Rainbow Six used to have storylines, and then when they switched it to mostly just the PvP game, I wasn't interested. It was a heavy over here. Love this game, and I put over 300 plus hours, but it's weird that they make a game to promote other games or franchises. Well, I mean, if a company owns different games, then I could see why they cross over to promote the other one. But it has to fit. Like, if you cross it over, it has to fit. The storyline has to fit anyways. I mean, look at, uh, what is it? Uh, not... We're not gonna find it down uh, here. Kingdom King, Kingdom Hearts, that is like a, a crazy crossover, but the story fits. Huh. <sighs> Same, I bought Siege in the beginning, but didn't like it. Would rather have New Vegas 3 XP. Very true. Honestly, when I first... When Rainbow Six Siege was like uh, being announced and advertised and everything, I thought it was going to be the new Vegas, right? I thought it was going to be Vegas 3 just with a different name, but no. It was definitely not what I was expecting. And my dumbass, I bought it for both Xbox so I could play with my Xbox friends. And, and I bought it for PC so I could play it with my PC friends. And I played about an hour on both Xbox and in, uh, PC. And although I was far better at the game on PC than I was on console, I, I, just, I couldn't get my sensitivity right for it on my uh, controller. Either way, I played the PvE, I played the PvP, and at first it was fun, but I, after like a, you know, an hour or two of, uh, killing people in PvP, I got bored. I was like, it's the same thing over and over. Are they gonna kick through this door? Are they gonna come through this roof? Am I gonna kick through this door? Am I gonna kick through this roof? I don't know. It felt very repetitive. But it's not even that. It's not that it felt repetitive. Because if you play enough PvP matches, no matter what game you play, you play enough PvP matches in like one, two, three hours, it's going to feel the same thing. Might have different scenarios, different outcomes, but it's pretty much the same thing. But it didn't have a, uh, a, a story, a story mode to fall back on. And the PvE was just pretty, at that time, when it came out, the PVE. It was just terrorist hunt. It felt the same thing about 
I mean, it, it just felt like PvP, except for it was just AI I was going up against. I don't know. It just didn't feel like Rainbow Six, I guess. Rainbow Six Vegas 2... Probably the last good Rainbow Six game. You find the uh, filter things, one right here. <laughs> Go ahead and change my filter while I have the ability to. My audio is pretty much gone inside this building. I'm not really hearing a thing. Even that ammo though.
Don't think there's anybody on the roof. Maybe there's a possible sniper. If there is a sniper, he'd probably be on top of this roof, but I can't see him. The audio is definitely quiet when you have like a gas mask on. That's all they got, fellas. I'm 
Keep tight, Back check your positions. This place is clear. I just need to loot that right there. That over there. That over there. All right. Hello? Oh. You like rocking two rifles now instead of one? No, it doesn't really doesn't really matter. I normally I normally use one primary. I normally almost always just use one primary. This isn't my normal my normal gameplay. This isn't me just fast traveling everywhere killing people and doing faction missions this is my true survival mode series different yeah i i play differently i play with different settings i play i just play differently in my true survival mode almost the same tactics but setting wise it, it's different settings still extreme mode though still definitely extreme extreme difficulty loving the content looking forward to some immersive RP maybe some milsim maybe we'll see K1A is uh, a hell of a weapon, Frank. Yeah, I like the K1A. I I just think statistically the K1A is better than the 4AC, but I I personally like the 4AC a little bit better than the K1A, just because with the um, attachments that you can do with it compared to the K1A. I need to uh, find a find a bivouac. That's what I need to do. Stop. Look at my map. Ay, 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 ay. I don't know where one would be possibly here. 
I think that was northwest. Surprised he took the gas mask off. I mean, technically, I'm still surrounded by gas. Is it really realistic to carry two primaries? Yes. Realistically, you could carry four primaries if you wanted to. It might not be comfortable. But realistically, you could carry as many primaries as your body was physically fit to carry. You might not carry it like this, where it just like kind of sticks to the side of your backpack. I mean, that's kind of unrealistic and weird. But I mean, I've seen people carry five primaries, six primaries. It all depends on the type of straps. Because you got the one point sling, two point sling, three point slings. You got uh, different weapons, you know, ARs, SMGs, shotguns, r uh, long rifles. You can, realistically, you can carry as many primaries as you physically could without breaking something but like I said it wouldn't just be like stuck to your backpack that'd be that'd be kind of that is a bit weird <laughs> but yeah I feel like honestly what it should have been is like your number one primary slot would be strapped to the front of that's a freaking Azra drone it'd be strapped to the front of your body so like you hold it and then you just like put it down and then your uh Secondary be like to the side and then if you had a third primary be to your other side But yeah, realistically, I would say maybe max You could probably carry three primaries But yeah Extreme J seven again bro with another donation from you my gosh you are just a legend my guy my guy let me look at you in the camera you beautiful person you amazing you amazing person another donation that's like that's like what uh two three streams in a row for you my my dude a homie big and big appreciation respect huge respect uh, but the message says sup man glad you're covering the event I actually covered the event in the last stream right no, I take that back not the last stream because I this is actually my second stream for today um, I was just gonna call it a, a night but I decided to get back on but I did a stream yesterday it was a seven hour long stream but I did the entire event in that stream I'm actually currently once I get done um, with this stream I will be editing that footage up I'm gonna try to probably put each uh, each mission into a, its own video now what's in that video who knows because it was it was a seven hour long stream a lot a lot happened a lot happened a lot a lot happened a lot was said but um I will be editing up my Amber Sky stream into, you know, pretty much the stream highlight videos. If y'all been watching my stream highlight videos, it's pretty much going to be like that. Um, I personally actually really enjoy those videos. Because I get to stream, I get to talk to you, share tips with you live whenever y'all have questions. And then I can take that footage once the stream is done and edit it into a video and release it later into like stream highlights I really like this new type of video content creation strategy I currently have but extreme J7 big appreciation my dude 
I swear that's like this the second, maybe the third stream in a row that you you showed how big your PP was. Yeah, man, I missed that one. Enjoyed the content. We have lots of downtime at work with COVID. Uh, 100% understand that. But yeah, that uh, I left the I left the gas uh, no on. Targets in my area. Yeah, uh, same. I'm I'm clear over here. Huh? Uh -huh. I hear gunshots. Hostiles in the area. Yeah, I left the gas on. This is actually a new character that I started for the uh, true survival mode. But my main character, yeah, I already did the uh, live event in that stream. Took seven hours. It was fun. I enjoyed it. Uh, you get some new weapons. If I can find a bivouac, I can uh, rest with this character and maybe do a quick switch to my main character. They, uh, but yeah, there's some new weapons that you can get as rewards from that live event. And I think my new favorite ASR, I could be wrong. I'm still doing testing, but right, as of right now, my new favorite ASR is one of the rewards you get. It's called the 4AC. That's probably my new favorite AR. I wish they implement slings in the next game. Hopefully. Maybe. I mean, there's a, I mean, I don't really know any, like, tactical shooter games that actually have slings in the game. Red Dead Redemption doesn't count. But it's pretty crazy that Red Dead has slings, but, like, shooter games, like, you know, this doesn't have it. But I don't think, like, Armor 3 or Insurgency or... DayZ might, DayZ might have slings. I haven't played DayZ in a very long time. I, but yeah, I wish they would add slings too. I wish they gave you the option to customize. Do you want a one point sling, two point sling, three point sling? Do you want your primary to rest in the front or do you want, want your primary to rest on your back, your side? You want to go my dude? dead but I'm I'm looking for a bivouac that's what I'm trying to say. I'm looking for the, the smoke clouds it's one over there must have must have ran past that yeah cuz I just came from that direction I must have ran past that wait no I'm, I should actually be close to one so if I'm remembering, I think there's actually a bivouac that is over here. Like, maybe over here? Maybe over there? Nah, I don't know. Maybe I'm just thinking about a different place. The closest bivouac you can see is like right here. This is definitely the closest bivouac. That road. You can probably follow the main road. It'd be to the left side of the main road. Are we not going to talk about how he watched both his guys get gunned down and just shrugged it off? <laughs> yeah, that's what I keep uh, trying to tell people uh, about a... Uh, I don't know if it's a glitch or a bug, but it's a really good stealth tip that I keep telling people. If you throw the bullet lore, like as soon as it... Yeah, as soon as it makes that noise, you have about, I don't know, two, three, four seconds... To kill everybody because the enemies get like in a uh, this animation where they kind of turn around to see what that noise was. And even if they see their friends die, if they're in that animation, they will not shoot you until their animation is done. 
But you gotta get them to turn around. You gotta get them to do a long animation. See? If I just started shooting these people, then I would have to tr quickly try to get my aim correctly set on all their heads. Did I kill this guy? Yes, I did. Uh, so yeah, there's a bivouac over here. <clears throat> you should do a Daisy live stream. I might one day. I don't know. I guess that would depend on if people's uh, interested in it. But I haven't played DayZ in a very long time. Like a good two years. Oh, if you want to try a Rainbow Six style game, Ground Branch has the original devs from it. Looks like old school Rainbow Six. Really? There's a, there's a, there's one game that's supposed to be coming out soon. I think it's called like Zero Dark Thirty or something like that. Or Zero Six. I can't remember the actual name, but it's supposed to be the original devs who created the, uh, the SOCOM games. I don't think they're making a new SOCOM. So I think the developers who made SOCOM is making a game and I think it's called Zero Six. 1549 on Steam might be worth a look. Ground Branch, is that what you're talking about? Is it, what is it? Is it PvP, PvE, Survival, Tactical? Uh, what is it? Alright, y'all. Where's this freaking... Never mind, I found it. <laughs> I was speaking to say, where's this freaking uh, bivouac at? But yeah, this is my true survival character. I will be continuing this series. Um, it I try to play as immersive and realistically as I possibly can. So, if y'all are more interested in this, then that is fine. I don't know if I would be editing these videos. The true survival one. But, Terrorist Hunt? What, is it, what does it look like? You, is it on Steam? Is it on PC? I've never heard of it, so I don't think it's on console. I love anything that's uh, tactical and stealthy. Found branch. My Steam would pop up. I think my character needs to do a little bit of stretching after everything yeah it's on steam I need my steam to pop up it's not popping up for some all right got I did my stretching now I need to eat some food uh ground branch Brown Branch is nineteen ninety nine. So if it's Terrace Hunt, then it's probably PVE, then, right? I mean, the photos look honestly just looks like Orma. Early access. I would probably have to. Uh, I'm gonna add it to my list. Let me. Uh, my character needs to drink some water. Added it to my list, but um, I probably need to. 
look at some videos on it if there's any videos of it on YouTube. There's one dude who apparently does reviews on like early access games on Steam. I don't like watch the guy, but his videos pop up all the time for recommend recommendation for me and I'm like why I'm not even trying to watch this uh watch this guy. But I think Ground Branch might be a game that he recently did. And no, Daisy don't have a sling. Daisy doesn't have a sling? I thought Daisy did. There was one game on PC that did. I don't remember what it was. But it was like a Daisy game. Maybe Generation Zero? I don't know. It was one of those damn survival games. Alright. I need to. Do I have anything to craft? Oh, man. I need to look at my perks. What have I learned on my journey? Um, I've learned how to be better at stealth. Uh, I've learned how to craft sing shots. I learned how to throw stuff farther. I have increased my carrying capacity by sewing extra pockets to my clothing. I don't really need thermal since I have the Pathfinder's uh, white hot thermal. I need that. I need this right here. That's what I need. So, Recon Mastery. And I have upgraded my recon drone to where it is uh, faster. It does have PvP modes, but it mainly PvE. I think a lot of games are made, like, I think a lot of tactical games are actually made for PvE. But I think they throw in PvP modes just to try to get that small, um... I guess gamer gaming community going but I think most tactical and stealth games are just like PvE like they're made for PvE like Ghost Recon this game is made for PV, PvE it's not made for PvP uh, and I think I need to write everything down in my little notepad something like that dude I don't know if I forgot to <laughs> yeah Honestly, when I think of what game has slings in it and what game actually does slings good, um, I think Red Dead Redemption 2. That's that's what I think. Now I need to sleep. Red Dead Redemption did 2 did slings very good. <laughs> All right, I'm going to switch over to my main character. For a minute, show the uh, AC or AC. I'll fix it in the stream soon, not right now, but yeah, this is my um, true survival character. Um. Yeah, I don't know if I would play Ground Branch. I've got to like look at it. I have to see if there's any reviews or videos of it. Are you ready for this fight? Alright, everything is set to elite. I'm actually glad like your setting stays the same depending on the character you play. So I would hate to have to go through and change my settings every time I switch to my uh, true survival character. But this right here, this is my main character. 
And uh, they currently have the 4 AC. I personally love this weapon. Um, I th The only reason, the two reasons why I pick the AC, the 4 AC over the K1A is two personal reasons. It has nothing to do with stats or performance or anything like that. It's I prefer my PEC-15 laser sight to sit on the top rail, which you cannot do with the K, uh, K1A because it doesn't have a top rail. And also the second one is uh, this one. You can customize your stock. You know, you can pick your stock to be whatever you want it to be. While the uh, K1A, you cannot change the stock at all. Also, I kind of like the look of the 4AC. I like the uh, tactical AR look it has compared to the K1A. Because the M4A1 is my favorite AR, realistically. Like, in real life, the M4A1 is my favorite AR. So, honestly, any weapon that looks similar to the M4A1, I'm going to go for it. Yo, play Warzone? Hell no. I'm not even... I don't even have Call of Duty downloaded. Yeah, Red Dead has a lot of detail to it. I wonder if they make a third. I don't know. Oh, the freaking Rainbow Six characters are still here. All right. Uh, I play Ghost Recon Breakpoint and it's good. And I play like you, Frank Stealth. That's what's up. Yeah, I'd rather the 4AC too. Shit. All right. I'm used to the uh, 4AC here. I don't think it truly matters where I, where I go. I'm just gonna go somewhere, somewhere random. I have a Hero CQC stock and an angled foregrip on my AR-15. That's what's up. That's what's up. How does the K1A look? Not like this. It looks like um This is what the K1A looks like. You can't change the stock, so that's the stock you're stuck with. And it doesn't have a top rail. I mean, technically, this would be. It looks like this could count as a top rail. But, uh. You can't put the uh, laser sight on the top. And also, it has these, uh, these numbers, 707. And no matter what camo you switch it to, these numbers stay there. I'm not, I'm not a big fan of it. What I do like is how there's this tape around the magazine. It has the tape around the magazine. I do like that. I wish you could make those small detail customizations, you know? I wish you could, uh, like, if I picked the M4A1, I could, like, select the magazine size I want and then customize the magazine individually. Like, if I wanted, like, uh, a tape on it or, like, I don't know, something on it other than what this game has. But, like, I, I do like the tape on the uh, the mag. Uh, my AR-15 legit looks like the Halo battle rifle. <laughs>
What's up, Frank? You've been streaming all day. Was watching this afternoon before work. Just got back and you're still going. <laughs> no, uh, the earlier stream that you probably saw was... Uh, no, that was a earlier stream. So this is my second stream of the day. I was streaming earlier. or I started around 11 this morning and I think I ended that stream around 3. And I started this one around... Uh, I don't know. Extreme J7 got to go take care of man. Oh my gosh. No, bro. All right, man. I totally understand. I'm fixing to end the stream, anyways. I'm just fixing to do some gameplay with the uh, four AC, and then I'm gonna get off. I'm gonna probably clear this base and get off. Jesus. Jesus. I got hot and heavy pretty quickly. I need to raise my monitor. My monitor is pretty low. So like when I sit with my back straight, I'm looking down. I need to raise my monitor. So I have to like kind of slouch my back and I hate it. What the? Show off. All right. <laughs> right on and break point my AR-15 is the first 16 shorter with the round angled grip. Fight first. What was that guy? How? Why did he do that? His animation broke completely. He he started shooting before he even had his gun up. And now I get to show this weapon in uh, combat state. Teammate move, god damn. It feels very smooth. It feels fluid. It feels like 
the freaking uh feels like this gun was like just cleaned like just just cleaned it's uh, freaking uh, greased I can't believe this teammate actually just went down kind of like the sound of it too Sounds like a sniper. Is there a sniper somewhere? There's a sniper that I don't know about. I got you. There you go. I just really like this this gun. What took you down, teammate? I don't know. Get to me now. We're moving to you. We got your six. All right, roll tide. I used the honey badger, Frank. Is it is the honey badger good? It's all right. It's definitely not on my top five list, but it's okay. Go somewhere else. They kind of put me in a, a killing mood. Let's go somewhere else. That place far. Hmm. Favorite AR. Realistically or in game? Are you talking about in game? What are your top five favorites? Um, it would depend. Are you talking about like five top five favorite weapons of all? Like out of all the uh, categories, or is it just uh? Top five ARs. In game. Uh, right now. Right now, it would be the 4AC. But. I still I'm still messing with it. I'm still experience uh experimenting with it. So as of right now it's my favorite ASR, but um that could change. It could definitely change of all categories. My number one favorite weapon would be the Would be aye, 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 aye. my number one. My number one favorite gun would be the G twenty eight Scout. The G28 Scout is my number one. Number two would be 416. 
Number three would be 4AC. Number four would be Number four would be the TAC 50. The TAC 50 would be my number four. Number five would be the UMP. That's out of all categories combined. That's my that's my top five pick. Which webcam are you using? I have no idea. I'm downloading Ground Branch. Hope it's as good as it looks. Don't we all? Don't we all? I think uh, I think 4AC weapon is an amazing weapon in my opinion. I love the weapon. Yeah, it's a good gun. What brightness settings you on? I can't get mine to look that dark. More dark is not as well. Default. I'm just on default settings. I love the M4A1 and the SC40K. Or whatever it's called. Yeah, the SC40K is a good gun. The M4A1, realistically in real life is my favorite AR Am I running the correct way? No. I should be running north. Now you get the 4AC. You get it from the uh, Amber Sky live event rewards. That's going on right now. If you don't get it right now, you'll never be able to get it again. Or probably, you'll probably be able to get it in the, in the future. Agree, lots of great M4 variants available on the market. That is true, very true. I hope the note. Uh, I hope the next Ghost Recon does have a lot more tactical stuff in it. That's even if they make a new one. I'm sure they're. I'm sure they're gonna make a new Ghost Recon. I'm pretty positive they're gonna make a new Ghost Recon. I just. I mean, who knows? They could be working on it right now. You know, maybe coming up with a storyline. No, I have no idea. Hey pal, zero movement in my sector. I've got no movement to report. But, um, I, I do think they were making new Ghost Recon. They probably won't actually, like, announce anything or anything like that until this one's, like, done, finished, you know? They're not going to continue adding anything to it or anything. I mean, you gotta think, this game... Wildlands released, what, two years ago? Three years ago? Four years ago? I think this game released two years after Wildlands released. And this game's already been out for one year. I don't know. No telling.
How you get the four AC? You don't. You have to. Uh, when you do the uh, Operation Amber Sky, you just do the first mission. You do the very first mission, and it gives it to you. The four AC is the very first reward. All you have to do is the very first mission. Love the lowdown, especially the blouse boots. Appreciate it, homie. Man, I do make some badass outfits, don't I? I got my big boss outfit. There we go. Any any Metal Gear fans out there? My big boss outfit right there. I got my Splinter Cell third echelon outfit. Which I do customize every now and again. Uh, I have my current outfit. And I don't know what the hell this one is. Oh, this is what I was using earlier. Oh. But yeah. Oh yeah, I was going to bomb this place. What am I doing? I'm gonna bomb the hell out of this place. Metal Gear outfit. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm going to show it one more time. I, I really like this, uh, big boss outfit. As you can also see, I'm not wearing a battle belt, by the way. But if you if you play Metal Gear Solid 3 Snake Eater, his his boots are actually unbloused. But if you play Metal Gear Solid 5, his boots are bloused depending on the outfit you wear. So I was kind of going with Snake Eater um in a way with my own kind of touch to it. Either way, you get you glance at it and it definitely it's like, "Oh, what's that?" Is that snake? Yes. Oh, I didn't mean to actually switch to the outfit. Whoops. <laughs> Whoops, that was an accident. You ain't leaving here, boy. I love, I love attacking this place. Yeah, I didn't mean to actually switch to this. Oh, damn it. Damn it, what am I doing now? Rally on my position. 
position. Okay, on that way. Maneuvering into position. I'd like it to be quick and clean. Getting in position. Got the heavy. Keep your heads down! That building's empty. That's why I'm not infiltrating it.
going to clean everything all the time. I think the uh, side's clear. I think the uh, the rest of the enemies might be over here. Civvies. It's good to see you. These days, almost everybody I know is defected or they're in custody. Probably should be gone already. They're arresting everyone. Generator has servers that link up to redundant systems. That's control, man. Well, nothing so far, but it's too damn dark to be sure. Why does hell over here? Something's out there making noise. Wait, how strange is that? Let's go look. Join the PMC. See the world. Spend the night searching in the dark for some bullshit. What? Eyes up! Okay, we're clear. <laughs> and we're good. That man was on a deadline. He ain't even stopped working. <laughs> on your toes. I like the vids you did, Frank, of Cyberpunk. I need to go back through that game. I need to go back through and play it. I played it a little bit in spare time. Because, uh... I was just trying to figure out how to freaking play the game. It's actually... It's actually a pretty fun game. If you actually, uh... Give it a try. But I I also I bought it for PC. I have it for Xbox and that's what the videos was recorded on, me playing it on Xbox. But uh it was just really hard to play on console, so I bought it for PC and I technically it's kinda weird because I got a refund. I I got a refund for it for xbox but it's still in my games and it's still downloaded and i can still play it on xbox which is weird because i got a refund for it 
So I don't know if Microsoft or Cyberpunk messed up there, or if the Microsoft Store messed up. <laughs> but either way, I I got a refund for it on Xbox, but it's still in my game. I don't know why. And I, I can still play it. I could switch to it right now. I mean, I, I don't know. Either way, I, I pretty much took that money, and I rebought the game for PC. And it actually plays really good on PC. Well, it, it plays really good on PC. And when I say it plays really good, I don't mean like there's no bugs or anything. It, it does look better and run smoother on my computer than it did on the Xbox. But I mean like the controls, like being able to just move around and aim and shoot people and actually be accurate. It's definitely a lot more fun on PC compared to... Uh, Thumbsticks. Yeah, maybe maybe uh, a couple of live streams coming up. I will go. I uh, play through Cyberpunk. Who knows? I still need to get back on Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I need to get back on that. I gotta get back on Watch Dogs Legion. Every time, like in my head, I'm like, hmm. I'm gonna play this other game today. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give Ghost Recon a break, and then, like right before I even get on the game, I just kind of sit down. I'm like, you know what? I'm really in the mood to be tactical today. I'm really in the mood to just shoot people in the back of the head today. I'm really in the mood to be super stealthy. You know, I don't know. There's something about this game that always pulls me back. I just really enjoy it. I don't know if I'm going to be able to live stream tomorrow. That's kind of another reason why I decided to do a second stream today. I should have a video releasing tomorrow if I finish editing it. It pretty much just be like a stream highlight edited video from uh, my Operation Ember Sky stream. Are you dead? You're dead. But I, I guess the next live stream I do, I probably either do, I probably go back to Assassin's Creed. I don't know. Who knows? I don't know. Do you know? Does anybody know anything? I don't think so. Do you know? I don't know. I don't know anything, man. You gonna play Hitman? I, I want to. I want to play Hitman Three. Hitman Three releases tomorrow, don't it? Yeah, it releases tomorrow. I know, like, big streamers and YouTubers got it early. Um, I did not get it early. I didn't even ask, to be honest. Hell, they might have contacted me. I was like, hey, do you want to get Hitman 3 early? I don't know if they did or not. I'm very slow at checking my email. I mean, I check my email every day, but I don't actually check for like advertisements I get like emails from like advertisers and sponsors pretty pretty often asking me if I want to like sponsor their stuff in one of my videos I always think about it and I'm like huh I wouldn't mind doing it hey I was gonna knife that man you had to shoot him in the head yeah damn it Alright, I'm gonna go somewhere else. Maybe here. I mean, by the way, I've been using the 4AC. It's also leveled up all the way to Mark III. I highly enjoy using this gun. Highly enjoy it. Oh my god. I got that freaking pedal press to the metal, baby.
Oh shit. Oh my god. I need to do more co-op with my brother to be honest. But he never he uh, he's gotten so busy with work, dude. I guess the holidays really put him and his work behind. But he's been so busy with work, he's not even responding to my text messages anymore. I guess he gets up, goes to work, comes home from like 12, 14 hour shifts, and then goes to bed, get up, goes to work, come home. God, I just really love this gun. Kind of feel like I'm shooting a freaking staple gun or something. Yo, Wait, how strange is that? Let's go look. Join the PMC, see the world, spend the night searching in the dark for some fool shit. I've been getting some like weird sound audio. So like someone's like walking up behind me. Maybe it was that guy. from watching you pups. Okay, we're clear here. And we're clear. Y'all remember this is I mean this is extreme guys. This is extreme. Extreme Elite, super freaking easy, super freaking easy. <sighs> Where's the generator at? Maybe if I had better aim, it would help though. <laughs> Sometimes, man, I'm playing no HUD, so I mean, I have a good idea where, you know, I should be aiming, but at the same time, it's like, I'm missing something. I wish it let us put the peck on top of the digital site. I love that site, but I also love how it looks with the laser site on top of the rail instead of the side. 
Fuck, I hope that made sense. Seth, Richie, I know exactly what you're talking about. There are actually like two or three guns in the game where you can actually put the PEC-15 on the top rail with the di digital sight. I think it's the ARX-200, the 5.5.3, and there is another gun that I can't remember the name. You're goaded? <laughs> yeah, I know. You're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right, you're right. I mean, sometimes I still make mistakes, but overall, like, 98%. Straight, straight epic, straight legend. Try to win the fight fast. Should have stayed in the vehicle, bro. What they need to add is a full ghillie. The ghillie suit actually isn't bad in this game. What they need is to add a ghillie, a ghillie hood, or a ghillie hat. Uh, yeah, my sight is clear. Nah, no movement over here. Is that a vehicle? Oh, that's a convoy. A convoy, my dudes. Bastard. This guy has no idea what's going on. His entire convoy just got wiped out. Convoys are easy, bro. Now I got me some free loot. Oh, well, I'm off to bed. Thanks for the video and chat. I'll stop by again. All right, man. Andy C. I'll see you. Which Rylands have the ghillie suit? They should bring them back. There's a lot of cosmetic items that... Uh, did better in Wildlands that I don't know why they didn't add in this game. Like, for one, the rolled up sleeves G3 combat shirt. What's up with that? I want my sleeves rolled up from time to time. Okay. I'm 
play on an SSD card on PS4 Pro. It runs way better. This dude dove out in that truck. Yeah, you better go the other way. He knew something was up. Breakpoint's gear looks more realistic than Rylan's, but lacks. Honestly, I uh, it does look a lot more realistic in Breakpoint than it does Wildlands, but <laughs> the pants and Wildlands is far more realistic. Far more, uh, I guess, just simply better looking. They're more slim. They look like slim fit. They're, I, I just, uh, and the, the, the knee pads, they're not so bulky. The pants in Wildlands is definitely what makes me appreciate the pants in Wildlands. That's actually one of the reasons why I use Vasily's pants so much. It's not because of the knife on the front. It's because they actually look like slim pants and the knee pads aren't big ass bulky knee pads. But Breakpoint did give you the option to blouse or unblouse your boots, so there is that. The battle belt and breakpoint needs to go, or you can turn it off. They should give you the ability to customize the battle belt, because I've seen battle belts realistically that just isn't as big and bulky as it is in this game. Like, I mean, I'm looking at it right now. I, I've seen plenty of battle belts that just isn't this big. But, I mean, there's also battle belts that do look this big, you know? I mean, it's a very realistic battle belt. But at the same time, give me the option to either remove it or get like a smaller size or something. I think it has something to do with the character models. I'm fixing at the end of the stream. I'm gonna clear this place and then I, got, I gotta go. I gotta end the stream. I can hear my fiance calling my name right now. You gonna come eat dinner? You gonna come eat supper? Uh, no, woman. It's almost midnight. from watching you pups pretty sure I saw someone walk over here but I guess I didn't He's dead. This is some shit. He's been out here forever. Still nothing. Please just be quiet. 
quiet. It's bad enough I gotta be out here. Yeah, I'm clearing myself. Mm. Same for me. Nothing to report. It must be underground. Like down here. Or maybe it's down here. I could have told you. There's nothing out here. Yeah, there's that guy. Fuck. That's a good one. All clear here. Nothing to report, man. Wait, I think everybody here's dead. Yep, 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 yep. Yep, 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 yep. Alright. It's nearly six in the morning where I am, dude. It is eleven thirty three PM for me. So you are what? Is that UK time? Are you UK time? No, is that right? I don't know. Six in the morning? You're definitely I think like uh not in the same country that I live. Oh my eyeball. Um Where's the freaking time? I've been live streaming for three and a half hours. UK? That's what's up. You know, I don't know why. I don't know what is up. But a lot of people that I've seen in like my comment section and my chat that's from UK, they always have ghost in their names. Is there like, is there something uh, going on with UK people and creating their username? Do all y'all just get together and be like, hey, we need to put ghost in our username? Because you're probably like the 12th or 13th... Uh, Ghost username that's from the UK I've seen today. Ghosts. You think this was how Ghost is a really cool name though. Nomad, what's up? But it's it it is very common. It is a very common name. No, I haven't seen that. I got a YouTube channel. Oh. I've seen I I see a lot of ghosts. In the comment section. And I'm always like, oh. They always say they're only, uh, they're from UK. I don't know, I'm from the UK? Really? Are you into actual military things, like specific different types of guns and bullets? I'm stuck. I don't know, I am from the UK. Harry Smith. I don't know. I mean, I'm not saying every single person from the UK has, you know, a ghost username. I'm just saying today, I've seen a lot of people say that they're from the UK and they have they have the word ghost in the in their name. I'm not saying it's a bad thing or anything. I'm just saying. I'm just saying, man. I noticed something. That's all I'm saying. I never realized how big Erwan was. But what was the point of them adding all this if there's like nothing going on? Like there's no reason for me to be over here. I can't interact with anything. Just walking around looking at pigs. I mostly play the new fight sim in Armor 3. Yeah, I get what you mean. Are you into actual military things? I'm a little confused on the question, but... Sure. Is that the answer you're looking for? I don't know. Either way, in case you didn't know, you can actually have your NVGs uh, down over your eyes in Erwan if you fast travel to Erwan with your night vision active. Pretty interesting. Oh my god, that's not interesting. Pretty interesting, but um... Oh my god. Oh my, oh my god, that's not what I'm trying to do. 
Excuse you. Uh, ah. Let me get like a close up. Oh yeah, that's that's it right there. Very nice. I think it's weird that you can't do photo mode in Air One. Oh god. <laughs> yeah. Pretty crazy. Oh, I can't even go this way. <laughs> Just seeing the inside of the dude's face. Alright, I gotta go. I appreciate everybody joining in and tuning in and watching and everything. It was really fun. Really fun. I hope everyone is having an amazing day, an amazing morning, a fantastic night. Maybe someone out there is getting lucky. Who knows? Imagine that. <laughs> Alright, I gotta go. I hope everyone has a great night. Good morning. Whatever.